What is pop to open crm Put simply, it's our email integration. It allows OpenCRM to collect emails from your normal email client, push those emails through to your OpenCRM system, and connect those emails with the relevant contacts and companies. Let's break it down using an example. You get an email from Pauline Smith at Pipes and Plumbing, one of your contacts and companies within your OpenCRM system. Pop to OpenCRM will see that email arrive into your inbox, push that email to your OpenCRM system, and assign that email to Pauline Smith at Pipes and Plumbing. And it doesn't just work with inbound emails, it will also work with outbound emails sent from either your email client or OpenCRM directly. As I said at the top of the video, put very simply, it's OpenCRM's email integration. There are some steps you need to take at your end to get it all configured. So today, we're going to take a look at how you can set up pop to OpenCRM. The first thing we'll do is send you our pop to OpenCRM configuration email. It's important to read this email carefully and understand exactly what it means and the implications of your choices at this stage. So let's break that email down for a second and take a look at the info. First, we start with a potted description of pop to open crm but if I've done my job correctly today, you already know what this amazing little feature can do. So let's look at some of the important things you'll need to consider and do. Consider what emails you want to bring into OpenCRM, who sends and receives emails within your organisation. Also, think about the staff who perhaps don't use OpenCRM. This one's an important one. What about senior management who may be exchanging sensitive info via email? Do you want to import that to OpenCRM too? You'll need to create two new mailboxes, one to take a copy of inbound emails and another for outbound. You'll also need to put in place some rules to copy only the emails you want in OpenCRM into those mailboxes. Don't worry if that last bit sounds complicated, your email provider can help with this step, but we've also included a helpful FAQ article within this email to assist you. You'll need to take some security and data retention policies into account. So think about who can see those emails you are importing, how long should those emails be kept, and do you want some emails to be kept private? And lastly, some additional configuration options. What do you want OpenCRM to do with email attachments, for example? Do you want to copy emails to your system if there's no linked entity within OpenCRM? If you scroll down on that email, you'll come to the section all about what you'll need to proceed with the setup. I will just remind you to read this whole email very carefully and let us know if you need any help with any of the information. But in short, here, is the list of things you'll need to continue with the setup process. And here are some decisions you'll need to make about the configuration of pop to open crm Make sure to pay close attention to the last section on the subject of private emails. You don't want to accidentally push sensitive emails to OpenCRM for all to see, so make sure you understand those last three points in particular before we move on to the setup stage. Once you have gathered the info we need, you can click the link at the bottom of the email to get to the setup and configuration form. Once you click that link, it will open a form for you to complete within a browser window. As with the email we just looked at, make sure you read and understand each section of this form. But if you've gathered those vital pieces of info we discussed in the last section of the video, this next stage will be super simple. Once you've read this first page, hit that next button. This first section is nice and self-explanatory. Just enter your company name, your first and last name, and your email address into the boxes provided. Then click Next. The next page goes over that all-important security info again. Call us over cautious, but data security is at the forefront of what we do. So read through this info carefully and tick the box to say you've understood when you're finished. Then click Next. Next up, we come to those more complicated bits of info. You should have already spoken to your IT team or email provider to gather this info. So simply enter those details from your notes into the boxes provided and click Next. As a side note, you can see our form will not let you proceed with missing information. So if you see the same error notifications and box highlights on your page, it means you've missed something and you need to go back to the highlighted box to enter it. The next page is the same as the last, 
The only difference being, this time, you're setting up outbound emails as opposed to inbound. Make sure you don't get those mixed up, but again, this is something your email provider can clarify with you. The next section of the form lets us know what you would like to do with email attachments. Consider the options presented to you and note that if you wish to restrict attachments based on size, you can specify this once you click those options. Then hit the next button. Next, we have the private emails configuration page. At this stage, you will already have closely considered what to do here. Read this page carefully and select the options that have been decided on before starting this form. As you can see, if you select yes to any of the options given, you will be presented with a free text box to enter those specific email addresses or domains to remain private. Then click next. And the last configuration stage is to tell us what you would like to do with emails from people who are not already in your system. Either select all emails and pop to OpenCRM will push all emails through to OpenCRM, or select the second option to only push emails that can be linked to an existing record within OpenCRM. Then hit next. And the final stage is one last security check. If you have any concerns at this stage, simply select yes to the first question and enter those concerns into the text box provided. We would then reach out to you to discuss. And the last thing to do here is click the confirmation box and sign your name in the signature box provided. Then hit submit. Once you hit submit, your pop to open CRM configuration request will be sent over to us and as long as there's nothing further to discuss, we'll go ahead and get that set up immediately. We do just need one last thing from you though, and that's the passwords for those new mailboxes you set up. We don't want you to just email them over to us, so we will send you a second email with another secure link within it. Simply follow this link to submit your passwords. The reason we do it this way is to make sure your passwords remain secure private and safe. Once you submit your password to us, we receive a link in return allowing us to access your passwords only once before that link goes dead. Super safe, very secure and really easy to do. And that's it. Once we get all of your configuration info, including your passwords, your pop to open CRM function will begin to work in under 24 hours. Thank you for watching. Remember, reach out to us if you need any further assistance and don't forget to show the like button some love and give the subscribe button a cuddle whilst you're at it. Cheers, see you next time.